A three digit number is made up by using three randomly selected digits from the from zero to nine. No digit may be repeated. Okay, so we've got these numbers available to choose from. Now, no digit may be repeated. The first question says, determine the total number of three digit numbers greater than 100. Okay, so think about this. We could make numbers like 105, 211, Oh no, not 211, because the number 11, the one isn't allowed to be repeated. 214, um, 986. You can't start with a zero, because if you had a number like that, it would be less than 100. Okay, so which numbers could we use then for position one? Well, you could use the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So how many options is that? That is nine different options, because there's 10 numbers here and you just can't use this one. So let's pretend, let's pretend what we used. Or like, let's try and guess what we used. Let's say for our first number, well, this is just an example code, an example. Let's say we used the number three. Okay, so the three is now gone. You might say, Kevin, didn't we choose nine as our first number? No, that's a common problem that learners have with this chapter. This, when you're getting your answers, we're looking at how many different numbers could we have chosen. We could have chosen any one of those except the zero, so there were nine options. But let's pretend that we chose the three as our number, okay? Just as an example code that we're making. Now, for the next option, we could choose, I mean, here are some example codes, 304, 310, 326, 358. Um, so you could actually choose zero or any number but we just can't choose a three because we've already chosen a three and no digit may be repeated. So how many options are there? Well, there's still gonna be nine because now we can use a zero. Now for our example code, let's say we used a four. Okay, so then, oh no, let's say we used a six. So we've used a six. So now for the next one, how many options do we still have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if you had to go multiply, um, oh, and we said we used a, um, oh, let's say we used a nine. Okay, so there's the, there's the number that we made, but this is the, this number that we're gonna get here is the total number of numbers, 648. So this is, this is where learners get confused. We've just made one example over here, but they're telling us from this is that you could have made 648 different examples. That is how many codes you could have made. This is just one of those examples. Determine the total number of possible three digit numbers, both even and greater than 600 that can be formed. Okay, so we want the number to be greater than 600 and it must be even. So it could be codes like 624, 708, uh, 946. Notice that the last digit has to be even for the whole number to be considered even. Notice that the first number must be six or more so that it's larger than 600. Okay, so those are our restrictions. So we've got three places. We've got the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let's start with our restrictions. We know that this number must be six or more. This number must be even. Now, there is a little bit of a problem because if we choose an even number over here, like six, the number six or eight, because it has to be six or more, then this number here, we're gonna have less options available for this even number. But if we choose an odd number over here, like a seven or a nine, then we've got more options available over here. So we've got two scenarios that we have to that we have to do, okay? We've got scenario one, let's choose an even number for this first one as well. And then scenario two, where it's gonna be six or more, but let's choose an odd number for that one. And then this one still has to be an even number. So for scenario one, how many options do we have for this first position? Well, it has to be a number that is six or more, and it must be even. So that could be a six or an eight. So we have two possibilities. Now, don't do this one yet. You do this one last. You always do your restrictions first. So how many even numbers do we have available 
if the first number was already even, so maybe we chose an eight for this first one, okay? Because remember we said we could choose a six or an eight. So let's say we chose the eight. Now, how many even numbers do we have available? One, two, three, four. So there are four even numbers available, okay? Let's say we chose a two. So how many numbers do we now have available for this last one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Let's now reset. Okay. Now for this scenario, let's say we chose an odd number for the first one. So it has to be larger than six uh, or six or larger. So the only options are seven and nine. So let's say we chose the nine. So you don't put a nine over here. No. How many options did we have? We had two. Now we, okay. Now you're for your, this part over here, because the first number was odd, how many even numbers do we now have? Well, now we have one, two, three, four, five. Ah, so let's say we chose a two. So now for this part over here, how many options do we have? Well, there you would have eight. So if you had to work out this part, 64, and if you had to work out this part, it's 80. So to get your final answer, you add those up, which is then 144.